Good morning, everybody. We have Mr. Normus and Johnny Quest in the chat right now. Mr. Normus and Johnny Quest. How does it feel to be the only guys in here? Oh, CD Wits in here as well. My goodness. You know, let's just sit here. Let's have a conversation since all the other bros are out there playing games. Who the heck knows what they're doing? They might still be sleeping. We can. What are you guys doing today, man? You guys all working? For real, hurry up. Get it in the chat right now before everybody starts jumping in. I've had a busy morning already so far. Got two videos recorded. Going to be recording some more videos. Hanging out with you guys, doing the live stream. Uh, I've already talked to mom. I already talked to dad. Uh, I don't know, man. Showed the cat some love. Fed the cat. All that good stuff. Yeah, been a busy, mini been a busy morning so far. Uh, what about you guys? Got to go to work in a bit. All right, Johnny Quest getting ready to go to work. What do you got? Delivering the mail. <coughs> The mail never stops, Mr. Normus. The mail never stops. Interesting facts. Good morning to you as well. What do you think about Wally? Wally Wales over talking about Johnny Quest. We got to look that up because I don't really know anything about it. I've heard people talking about it, but uh, not something that I have looked into yet. So we can absolutely look into that right now. Today, I need you to do analysis on one altcoin. Hope you'll do it. Well, hurry up. Get it out there. Interesting facts, man. Get it out there right now. <clears throat> Before we got hundreds of people coming in here, blowing the chat up and all that good stuff, man. Let me know what you guys want to look at real quick today. As uh, Mr. Normus is delivering the mail, Johnny Quest getting ready for work, CD Wit just hanging out. Nope, just Wally. All right, we'll look at Wally, Johnny Quest. Kirinsita, 1980. Kirinsita, thank you very much for clicking that subscribe button. If you guys are brand new to the channel, please click that subscribe button. You know what? I would love to hit over 200,000 subscribers this year. <coughs> I don't know if it's possible, right? I don't know if it's possible, but I would absolutely love to see that happen. So if you guys can click that subscribe button, I would appreciate it. Let's check out Wall. You know what? We did the shout outs. Let's do the market review real quick, see where everything's at, and then we'll go check out Wally and whatever interesting fact wants to see. AMC in the top left hand side of the screen, sitting at an all time low today. Adam Aaron continues to destroy that company and retail investors across the globe. GameStop sitting at $11.13. Shiba Inu coin, trying its, trying its, trying its, trying its best to break back up to the upside. Boom, boom, boom. Three attempts in the last, I don't know, hour. Can't do it just yet. Still sitting at $2702. Bitcoin. 69,500 down 2% on the day today. Pretty rough day for crypto overall, but a rough day for the entire market. You get the NASDAQ sitting down today. The NASDAQ is down over 1%. You've got Dogecoin, 1940. Ethereum, 3446. Shiba Inu coin, 2702. Bitcoin sitting at 69,500. The SPY sitting at 513, down about a percent. QQQ down over a percent. Mullen Auto, 386. Dude, Mullen Auto was like $1,000 a share just a couple of weeks ago. Look at this. Last year, it was the equivalent of $200,000 a share. Yeah, $200,000 a share. Uh, this, no, it's a couple years ago. It's 2021. $200,000 a share, man. And here we are. We're talking about prices that, that are down to $3. Don't buy Mullen Auto, okay? Just don't buy it. These guys are scammers. Uh, Sundial sitting at 205, Netflix 623, MPW 402, Tesla 171, Amazon 187, and Apple 175. Dear goodness, Apple is the only green thing on the entire chart. Oh man, <laughs> I rub my nose the wrong way and it's going to make me start to sneeze. Woo, if I don't regain my composure right here, it is going to be <laughs> over, man. All right, we're going to watch Shiba Inu coin. We're going to watch Bitcoin down here on Weeble, but we're going to come back out to the chat. And we're going to see what Wally is doing right now. <coughs> Multi AI as well. Getting gigs. You know what? CD Wit. I will look into that a little bit more, okay? I, uh. He, dude, and maybe. I don't know anybody that has done it, okay? So I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't personally talk to, to Clear Value Tax or anything like that. I don't know anybody, anybody else that's done it. Uh, the idea of revenue sharing from from YouTube revenue, like it's not a bad idea. I just personally don't know if I'm on that level yet that it would make the most sense to do it. Clear value tax. That guy's got what over a million, and, and he's doing very very well. All of his content gets huge video or huge views and stuff like that. So maybe I could reach out to them just to see what they say. Um. You know, it's almost like, you know, issuing, right? Some sort of a, a, 
uh, stock in your YouTube channel almost. Getting some money up front to issue the Gigastar coins or the tokens or whatever they are and, and doing some sort of a revenue share. It doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. I just don't know if I'm there yet in terms of how big I, I would need to be or how big I should be. All right, let's look at Wally. We're going to take a look at Wally. <coughs> Honorarium ticking up over the last three days after a 3E16 sell off right there, bringing it back down below that trend line. I'm telling you, man, the kitty cat is wanting to play right now. I don't know what it is about noon, but she wanted to play big time on the last time we did the live stream. Yeah, what? This one? Is it this one right here? The whale one? <coughs> Hey, let me know if it's this one. I'm going to click on this one. Let me know if I got the wrong one here. Okay. Hoo-wee. Dude, do you hear her? Listen, can you hear her? Could you guys hear that or no? I don't know how much this microphone picks up. I turned the microphone around. This cat is over there messing around with screws. She can't be messing with screws if she eats a screw. Well, what are you gonna do, baby? Huh? What are you gonna do? If you eat a screw, what am I supposed to do? Huh? What am I supposed to do if you decide to swallow a screw? That's just crazy. If you decide to swallow a screw, how am I gonna get that out? How am I gonna get that out if you swallow a screw? We can't have that now. Oh my goodness can't be moving screws around like that if you eat one of them we're all in trouble man <clears throat> skid live on bitmart best meme coin out there success kid man a lot of people doing very well with success kid yes i definitely gonna hear your cat ricky de jesus man uh hopefully the cat calms down a little bit she's going back over there right now she's probably gonna start messing with that screw again in a second clever good at a meme coin sofa king what do i do next Rodney, uh, you're going to have your work cut out for you, man. So you, you created a meme coin, right? If you want people to be able to buy your meme coin, you're going to need to do two things. You're going to need to send some of it over to... Listen to this, man. Man. All right. Now, she stopped right there. Yeah. Raz and Daz, I'm telling you, man. There's a cat over there playing with screws. So, uh... You're gonna need to send your. You're gonna need to send some and some of the token over to a liquidity pool. You gotta fill up the liquidity pool, otherwise nobody can buy that token. It's just gonna be sitting. <laughs> what are you doing? It's just gonna be sitting in a wallet. Um, after you fill up the liquidity pool, you're gonna have to find people to buy that token. So if you're doing that, you're gonna have to go out there and do some marketing. Uh, so fill up the liquidity pool, do some marketing, get some people to buy the token, and then the price goes up. Can check can do Inu? Yes, I will. Next one down. All right, Johnny Quest says it is not that one. Let's check out Wally right here. Next one down, it is this one right here. Wally Bot. <coughs> well, dude, Wally Bot's been around for uh, a year, so this one has been out for quite a while. I don't necessarily like the volume. Right? I don't necessarily like the volume on this one. Some days doing literally zero dollars in trades. And then the larger days, $238, man. Here's here's a decent one with a thousand dollar trade. Now it's starting to pick up. I don't know why it is starting to pick up. Uh, when you're going from zero dollars a day to $39,000 in volume, I think something happened there. <laughs> Because I don't know what that is, I, I can't really offer much analysis on what Wally is doing. If you go all the way back to when it came out, though, you could see that, boom, tap some severe support. Boom, tap some severe support. Doing it again down here. So what I see, it's clearly bouncing off a very, very long-term level of support. And it found some newfound volume somewhere, somehow. Is it sustainable, though? That's the question you got to ask. And because I have no idea where it got that volume and the fact that it's already dropping back down to $537, I just, uh, I would be a little skeptical of Wally right there. <coughs> I don't want this cat to die. <coughs> Gorilla Invictus, good morning to you, Gorilla. Glad to have you. 
You having fun? Huh? You having fun playing with screws? You are? Yeah. Screws are fun. You know what's even more fun? Toys. Toys are even more fun than screws. Let's come up right here. You're going to sit with me for a minute. You're going to sit with me for a minute. And then we'll talk about playing with screws a little bit later because that's just crazy. Uh, where are we at here? Check Toby on base. All right, Paneka. Let's look at Toby on base. CD Wit in here. Gorilla Invictus. Loving to see all you guys coming in here right now. And there goes the cat. Man, those screws are more fun than I am, I guess. <coughs> all right, let's check out Toby right here. She'll go get that cat of toys. She can play with it in here. Toby on base. Been out for 26 days right now. Not on Solana. This one's down 20% today. But Toby on base at the moment. Seven zeros. Ooh. I like this graph, though. I like this graph. It's a $19 million market cap. $377,000 in liquidity. I highly, highly doubt this number. <coughs> I don't even know how that would be possible. I've never seen a token that's only been out for a month amass a million to, uh, a million holders. Okay, so I, I don't know what's going on with that right there. I think that that number is somehow fake news. Uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know that I am wrong. But a million holders in, in 26 days seems extremely crazy to me. Uh, on top of that, this graph actually looks really good, man. So you get two trend lines that I notice right off the bat. Number one, the trend line, ugh, come on, Dex Tools, don't do it to me now. Number one, you get the trend line that it started out with. Number two, you get a, a little bit more of an elevated trend line, but still at the same angle, okay? And you can see that both of these are almost exactly parallel right here. You had yourself a nice channel that it was moving out in, and then it jumped up, broke to the upside of that channel, and is now using the upper end of that channel as a support line, continuing to rise in value by hitting higher lows along the way. So, dude, it's been out for a month. It has done nothing, essentially, but go up, offering plenty of dip buying opportunities as, as these are the higher highs that it keeps on testing right here, which could lead to a new um, ascending... Uh, I guess support level if it breaks out and confirms a move to the upside of this line. So, uh, yeah, I think that this is a very bullish graph at the moment. Clearly, though, if it breaks down, there's not a lot of data to work with here. But if it breaks down below this level right here, you know, you're probably going to be back into this channel and, and testing these lower, these higher lows down here. Is that, that low line, this cat's going to drive me crazy this morning, man. Gary on Solana. Interesting facts. Let's do it. Already sitting in 2x from your call. Heck yeah, interesting facts. Let's check it out right now. Uh, friends went up 100% yesterday and then back down. Giovanni, did you stay in? Did you get out? What did you what did you end up doing with it, man? And I can see too on the on the screen there that Shiba Inu coin is making some pretty big moves. So let's look up Gary. Let's grab this cat again. Hey, why don't we play with a toy? Huh? You wanna play with a toy? Yeah, you can play with this one. Yeah, play with that. Play with that toy. And then this here. Yeah. Oh. 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 Go get that under there. Yeah, you know what? Let's tape this. If we tape this here, I'm out of tape, darn. All right. Well, go get that stuff under the desk. That'll be fun for you. You play with that for a while. All right, it's Gary on Solana, man. You got the daily right here <coughs> doing very, very nice. Then if you're up 2x at the moment. And Gary on Solana actually could be introducing another buy opportunity. <coughs> Sorry. I get the allergies going on right now. Major support back here in December. Bro ended up breaking back up through it here. Came back down a little bit. But support, 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 support right now. So Gary on Solana not doing too bad. If, you are, if you're still up 2x, excellent, man. Excellent. This could be a hold phase for you. 
if it breaks down, okay, if Gary breaks down back through this level that it's currently at, I would be a little bit more skeptical. You might want to move this line down just slightly to give yourself some room, but right where it's at, dude, huge level of support, okay? Couldn't break up. Did break up, came back down, and then support, 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 support for basically, well, the entirety of 2024 so far. So Gary not doing too bad to maintain support lines. I do hope that it breaks back up and bounces off that support, but just watch out for it knowing that it is trying to come back down through support there. Uh, hey Clay, hope you're well. Could you recommend good DeFi wallets that can hold a wide range of crypto, please? Listen, I use Trust Wallet, okay? <coughs> I use Trust Wallet. A lot of people prefer MetaMask. So I don't know if you prefer MetaMask, Trust Wallet, or whatever. Those are the two ones that I like to use based on their, their layouts, but I actually prefer to use Trust Wallet. Now, at any given time, if you decide that you would prefer to use MetaMask, which might be a little bit better in terms of new tokens automatically showing up and so on, if you decide to use MetaMask, you can simply log in using your 12-word seed phrase, and you are going to have access to all of your stuff. So you own those tokens on the blockchain. You don't own those tokens necessarily just in Trust Wallet or just in MetaMask. Um, now you also have Coinbase Wallet and Crypto.com Wallet and all of those other ones if you, you want to be a little bit more loyal to those exchanges or you like those layouts better and so on. So it is going to end up being preference on, on what you would what what you would specifically prefer there. Um I would say MetaMask might be the most up-to-date and quickest to update, but I still use Trust Wallet, <coughs> so it's just whatever your style, I guess, man. Uh, we're going to look at Friends as well. I made 2x from that today in just one hour, and then it dumped. Uh, Paneka, are you talking about Friends? Or which one are you talking about? Hola, click. Como esta? Otoachimo, Claudio. How are you, my friend? How are you doing? Is it really all that when a bull market starts? I mean, all those gains. Claudio, yes. So, no, now, let me be very specific. The 2017 bull market, and I'm going to speak from experience, right? I'm not going to speak from, like, 2013 in that bull market. I was watching Bitcoin at that time, but not nearly as closely as, as the 2017 era. So 2017, what you notice, a very beautiful, gradual rising throughout the year. And then at the end of 2017, heading into December, I can remember texting my dad and my brother every morning and saying, holy smokes, Bitcoin going to 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 8,000, 10,000, 12,000. 16,000. It's never going to stop. $19,000. And it's almost like an exponential rise takes place. So nice, beautiful, steady growth throughout the year leading up to it. And then rip. It's just, it runs very, very quickly. And after that exponential rip, you got a major, major dip. Back down in a matter of days in two weeks the 2021 bull market beautiful graph throughout the end of 2020 and into 2021 you had that nice slow steady gain and then november of 2021 comes around rip everything ripping up in an exponential manner and you're talking about you know major altcoins doing four five 10x gains not from like a week's perspective, but from where they were the year prior. You had meme coins. Dude, it didn't matter what it was. People were throwing their money at it. So you had meme coins doing 10, 20, 50, 100x gains almost across the board. And then very quickly after, it dumps off. And I'm talking days into a couple weeks you're back down now 2020 uh the 2021 bull market was very very similar to 2017 <clears throat> if the same thing occurs again what we had is a beautiful 2023 rally steady growth 
going into 2024. I don't know if the if the steady growth is going to continue on, but if you see an exponential rip where you see coins that are just doubling, tripling, quadrupling in in a week's period, what do you think is going to come next based on the pattern recognition of the last two bull to bear market cycles? A major dip that brings it back down. <clears throat> so yes, Claudio, bull markets do bring crazy gains because they drive emotion. And when people are emotional, they buy, 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 and they cannot stop, man. <laughs> Kenneth, hello to the band. Kenneth, man, hello to you as well. Thank you very much for the very first super chat of the day. Absolutely appreciate you, my friend. Glad to have you in here and glad to have that super chat as well. Hopefully, you're having an awesome day. I want to know. Oh, my. Hey, hold on. I might have to get that rag again because a cat was like extra lovey this morning. So I might have extra allergies this morning. Um, but cryptocurrency is falling down right now. So please be a little careful. If you guys are out there, if you're trading on leverage or anything like that, be aware that we just fell off the uh, the edge there and started to move lower. 2650 on Shiba Inu coin, 68700 on Bitcoin. I got to take a drink of water though. <clears throat> I don't know if I should take another Zyrtec today or... Or let it go and maybe just take a shower after the uh, after the live stream here. But yeah, I uh, I want to calm down a little bit and not have all the allergies. Whoo! Oh, you're back, Clay. Boom! Crypto Rocketeer, absolutely, man. Yesterday was a little bit of a hectic day, dude. And I was hanging out with my grandpa yesterday. And, uh, you know, he wouldn't mind at all if I went live when we're hanging out and all that stuff, man. But I don't want to disappear. You know, I don't want to disappear for an hour at a time when, when he's over here hanging out and so on. So, um, yeah, yesterday was just another one of those days. Uh, definitely not chilling. Right, not not relaxing or just ignoring anybody, but it was one of those days where you take a little bit of a break and you come back ready to go. Uh, let's see, buy Nyan meme coin. We we'll get Nyan as well. I'll pull up Nyan here, and I see that claudio has got another message. So we're gonna read what claudio had to say. Um, I do want to say this, guys. I see a lot of people coming in right now, and I would just ask that you please click the subscribe button. Um, we, we got an awesome live stream here. A lot of very, very interesting tokens we look at. I try to make it as interactive as possible. Uh, Palaturi, thank you very much for clicking the subscribe button. If you guys have questions, do not be afraid to ask them. I don't even care if you ask the most basic question because you have no idea what's on the screen right now. And you just simply want to know, what am I seeing? Whatever you guys want to ask, ask it, okay? Um... But we do have a very interactive live stream here. I see a lot of new viewers in here right now. I would appreciate it if you click the subscribe button and have some fun with this. And if anybody wants to take it upon themselves to remind people to click the subscribe button, please do so. Because of the vertical format, we got people swiping through. The average watch time right now is about one minute and eight seconds. So uh, everybody's basically recycling through every minute or two. Um, uh, take it upon yourself if you want to uh, promote the subscribes. Any thoughts on XRP? <coughs> yes, I like XRP. I think that Ripple is is a genius for doing what they're doing. I think that the SEC is is the modern day mafia. And as soon as the SEC backs off of Ripple's XRP, I believe that XRP could do do very very well to gain in price. Let's see. Claudio says, "And how do I know when to take out? For instance, I have AAVE with an average price of eighty dollars. I need to put a target, or do I have some signals?" Claudio, this is the hardest question to answer, okay? And and sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong. This, though, is a question that for you, only you could answer. Because let's just go through a couple scenarios here. <clears throat> if I owned AAVE at $80, my goal, and I don't know, let's just let's just not even put numbers on it. Maybe my goal is to simply double my money. I want to double my money and move on. In that case, I would put a price target on at $160 and move on. If it continues to go higher, who cares? 
I hit my target and I move on. If it, if it takes a year, two years, five years to get there, who cares? My target was to hit a double my money. So yes, at that point, I would put a take profit on there. If you want to be a little bit more subjective with it, and you want to do a little bit more analysis, you could do two things. You could begin to trade AAVE and all of your other assets. So let's pull your graph up here and, and see where AAVE is. All right. You bought in at $80. You're currently sitting at $110. That is beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. I love to see that right there. Now, it is pulling back a little bit. Okay. So just earlier today, it was at 120. Right now, it's at 110. So you were already up 50%, and it's starting to pull back pretty heavy today. Now, the good news is the all-time graph here shows that you got in at a very, very good level of support. Not the absolute bottom, but a very good level of support as the price was rising. Now, you could trade the levels of resistance. And, and instead of worrying about simply doubling your money and so on, you can pull this chart out a little further, and you can get accustomed with different signals like you'd be looking for. And the one that I always go to, to me, it's just the most relevant, okay? This was a level of support. Boom. Didn't break down. But it did, and then it came back down, tested it again here, and then finally broke back down. Here's another one, okay? Now, I'm going to put a couple more on the screen right here. We'll just use this one, and then, of course, we'll use this one. Now, your eyes might go to something else. You might choose moving averages. You might choose a, another uh, technical analysis strategy. But this is the one that I like the best. So you bought in at a beautiful level of support down here at $80. It broke up through that level, and it began to run. It ran to um, $115, pulled back to your $80, and now it is ripping higher beautifully. Now, this is a little bit of a sticky situation right now as to whether or not you want to get out because the last time that it tested, $110. Came down, tested it, bounced back beautifully. Came back down, tested it, bounced back beautifully. Tested it, bounced back. Tested it. What does it do this time? Well, if it does anything similar to what it did over the last month and a half, it's going to bounce back beautifully. If it does break down, you might watch it fall all the way from 110 back down to $80, or back down to $100, and then of course if it breaks that level, back down to $80. So the last thing that you ever want to do is lose money, especially if you're currently profitable. So you can trade, yes. If you're worried about holding until the bull market, I would look for that exponential rally, which means that for no reason other than pure greed, people are buying in, it's all emotional, the bubble's about to burst, and it's time for you to sell. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ken Do's a meme coin. Yes, Uncle Josh. Let's pull up Ken Do, man. I'm a Doge 20 be sent to Uniswap without issues. Ralph, not automatically. Okay, so if you bought into Doge 20, let's make this very clear before I get a can do and I see uh, I see Claudio again. So if you bought into Dogecoin 20, which apparently you can still buy in, this, lo this website's loading in, there's still a couple days left. They're going to take this buy button away, I can guarantee it, because they've already taken marketing away and they don't need to market this coin anymore. Um, when this coin launches in 7 days and 17 hours, you're going to have to come out to this website, Okay. When you come out to this website, you're going to need to click claim. Now, I don't know exactly what the new button's going to look like. It might say claim. It might say claim and stake. And then under it, it might say, you know, claim without staking or simply claim your tokens. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like. And it's going to be your decision if you want to claim and stake or if you simply want to claim. But you will have to click claim. Now, after you do that, it might automatically show up in your MetaMask wallet. MetaMask is a little bit better about it. If it does not, or if you're using another wallet like Trust Wallet, you're going to have to copy the contract address, which should be updated on their website at that time. 
You're going to have to copy the contract address and add Doge 20 to your wallet. So after you claim it, add Doge 20 to your wallet via the contract address and you will see those tokens in your wallet. Now, what do you do from there? If you are looking to immediately sell it, let's say that it is up five, six X in value and people are just ripping and buying and buying and ripping and you want to sell right now. Yes, all you're gonna have to do now, I don't know if it's going to be Uniswap V3. I don't know if the main liquidity pool is going to be USDT, if it's simply going to be Ethereum or whatever. <clears throat> but what you're going to need to do at that point is simply go out, connect your wallet to Uniswap, and then swap your Doge 20 for USDT or Ethereum. Uh, I have had some trouble in the past with brand new tokens and swapping them for USDT. I had to swap them for Ethereum. OK, so if you're going out there and I did that with GBTC the other day, um, if you're going out there and you're trying to sell and you're trying to swap for USDT and it's not working, it's not working, it's not working, swap it for Ethereum. OK, the liquidity pool is probably going to be built with Ethereum and, and you're going to be you're going to be able to swap it for Ethereum. Clearly, Ethereum is much more stable. And then whatever you want to do with your Ethereum, your choice, you can swap that for USDT or uh, move it over to exchange, simply hold your Ethereum, any of that. <coughs> wow, you need to go out of the stream to subscribe. I really don't like this crappy system, Clay. I don't think it's good for the streamer. People are still not liking the streaming. What do you mean you need to go out of the stream to subscribe, dude? Hold on now. I don't know what you're talking about. I got to see this because that's strange to me. Because a lot of people are clicking the subscribe button, Crypto Rocketeer. A lot of people are clicking the subscribe button. My, my, I'm getting about 100 subscribers per live stream. So I'm a little confused by that now. Let's see here. Oh, I'm already subscribed to that. Hold on. Let me open an account that I'm not subscribed with. Hey, do you not see this button? Guys, help me out here. I know a lot of you probably are subscribed to the channel, but if you're not subscribed to the channel, do you see that button up top? It just says subscribe. If you see that button up top that says subscribe and you click it, what does that do? To me, I would think that I could just click that. Uh, let's see. Yes, this view does take user to go on to subscribe. What? Not everyone has it. Song Yong Shin, is that because you already subscribed to the channel though? Yeah, Diamond Gaming. We'll we'll look at Mint Club, man. I can, I can look at Mint Club. Somebody who has not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button. Do you see it or what? Close the chat to see the subscribe button if you're on PC. All right, RJ is helping so P. I see the button. Just did it. Taylor, did you click the subscribe button? I'm just trying to, fit. I want to know because it, it, okay, Taylor, Taylor says, I see the button just did it. Taylor, I need to know. Yeah, so Taylor, just subscribe. You saw this thing up top of the page. It, it just showed up at the top of the screen there. Did it take you out? Did it take you out or what? Did you have to leave the, the channel? After subscribing, the button goes away. Cart, eh. Okay, so Paneka. A Panenka, you click the subscribe button and then it goes away. Card S, click the subscribe button and, and I did it too. Did it go away for you guys after you clicked that subscribe button? <coughs> Is that why you'd have to, to not take me out? All right, Jimmy the one. I'm on the phone, didn't leave. Boom, baby. I did it. Did not take me out. I like it. Same, same, same. All right, sweet. I don't subscribe. No, no, Crypto Rocketeer. Don't click the unsubscribe button, man. Don't do it. No, don't do it. 
I, you can do it if you want, man. Then re-click the subscribe button. I don't care. Um, but yeah, just make sure that it works. Because I, I want things to be as user-friendly as possible. But YouTube's really promoting these live streams right now because they're in the vertical format. And, and they're putting it over in the... Um, where are you at, baby? Come here. They're putting it over in the, the shorts feed. So, I mean, it's actually very beneficial for the vertical format there. Just change the subscribe button in a gray box. All right, Christian, thank you. Just a test. Absolutely, Crypto Rocketeer. Test it all the way. All, all the way you want. Jawad Ali, thank you very much for clicking the subscribe button. We take it again, ship. I hope not. Dark Bro, thank you very much for the super chat. Dark Bro says, today has been a fantastic load up opportunity. 12 YFDAI, 6 Solana, 10 million honorarium. Let's get started. Very, very nice. Dark Bro, thank you all. Oh, I'm going to start sneezing. Dark Bro, thank you very much for the super chat. And uh, I'm not going to lie. Dark Bro, dude, that's a that's a pretty solid portfolio you got going on there, dude. 10 million honorarium, not bad at all. I think that ends up being close to $200, right? Six Solana, very solid. I think Solana is trading about uh, 160 bucks a coin right now. And 12 YFDAI. What's the price of YFDAI at the moment? Hey, bro, can you explain how real crypto is? Because my wife doesn't believe that one day we will become somewhat financially free. It is that I invested 13000 and we'll see. It needs reaffirming. She is listening. Absolutely. Crypto con Raul Valdez Reyes, man. He goes 12 YFDAI, six Sol. We speaking in code? Yeah, JB, we speaking in code, man. To anybody who out there who doesn't understand all this crypto code, okay, crypto code Raul Valdez's wife, right? Uh, it might sound like code. 12 YFDAI, 6 soul, all of that. It might sound like code. So uh, I'm, I'm going to explain this like I explain it a lot to, to my grandpa or, you know, I've explained it to my sister before. Because it, and, and my uncle has the same question, and a lot of other guys who are not in the crypto game that have asked me, uh, they ask why, you know, why anybody would buy, like, a fake internet money, okay? it's it, You can't hold the dollar. People always think that if it's real, you need to physically be able to hold it. So let's just take one step back. And, and this might not apply to you, uh, but it, you, it might start to make a little bit more sense. When is the last time that you actually paid for something at the store with cash? Now, I get it. You might give your brother or your sister a $20 bill on their birthday or whatever. Um, you know, you, you, what all of that stuff. You might give a tip at a restaurant in cash. But when is the last time you actually went to the store, grocery store, um, shopping, and you pulled out cash? When did you go into the gas station the last time and pay for your, to fill your tank up with cash. I would venture to say that it's been a very long time since you've walked into a gas station and paid with cash or, or a very long time since you were at a restaurant and you paid with cash or sometimes you do if you just say keep the change or whatever. But everybody pays with cards. Everybody pays with their own version of digital assets. Cash has become much, much less common. So in all honesty, you don't actually need to a physical form of payment to make it real. Now, the difference is you go to the bank and you can see that you've got $10,000 in the bank. You can go to the blockchain and you can see that you've got $10,000 on the blockchain. Now, let's talk about the differences there, okay? Uh, setting aside the physicality of it, because truthfully... You can walk around with a coin that looks like a Bitcoin, and if it's got your QR code on it, you would still be able to transact with that. They can have, they have crypto credit cards, which you can pay the exact same way that you pay with your bank card. So there's a lot of similarities already being made between physical payments with both crypto and fiat currencies. So the difference is your money at a bank versus your money on the blockchain. Your money in the bank is centrally controlled. Your money on the bank is decentrally, or your money on the blockchain, sorry, is decentrally controlled. Now, if the bank, if the bank decides that they want to freeze your assets, they don't like the way you voted. 
They don't like what you said on social media. They don't like that you've got a relative in Russia and you sent them a birthday present. They freeze your assets and they have the full authority to do so because they are the central owner of their own ledger. Their accounting services are centrally controlled. If your money is on the blockchain, nobody can make that decision to block you, to freeze you, to control you. It has to be 100, well not 100%, but it has to be majority uh, decided by the owners of that blockchain. And the owners of that blockchain are the validators. They're the miners. They're the ones who have crypto staked. So at that point, it takes out that central authority and makes it a decentralized authority. So I know this is a very long and drawn out process um, and a very long and drawn out explanation to, to show the similarities between both crypto and fiat currency, but the differences and the main difference being central authority versus decentral authority. Um, the government doesn't necessarily like it because they need to maintain that control. But at what point can the government stop it? That's the real question. And, and I believe as, as cryptocurrency continues to grow in popularity, and I believe that as cryptocurrency kind of uh, becomes more legitimized in the, the realm of finance, I believe people are going to become more comfortable with it. The same way that my grandpa won't go out and buy something online. Okay, he doesn't want to connect his card to the internet. Uh, he, he doesn't understand how to buy something online. Is the same way people now who don't necessarily understand crypto will one day embrace it, right? Um, so yes, crypto coin Ralvel does as Ray as his wife. I do believe that one day cryptocurrency will be here to stay. <laughs> Most places don't even accept cash these days. Dude, if I went to a place and they said that they don't accept cash, I would not be I would not be shopping at that place. I would just leave. Even though I wouldn't be paying with cash, I would not be shopping there if they did not accept cash. Uh, you do not have the money. Plain and simple. The minute you get rid of it from your hand, it is gone. Uh, yeah, dark bro. And I agree with that too, right? And give to Caesar what is Caesar's, right? Whose face is printed? Whose face is printed on the dollar bills that we own, man? It's it's not ours, and they're going to tax the crap out of you uh, on your fiat, too. No, not really. There are many countries that use cash. The world doesn't revolve around America, especially crypto. Faisal, um, I don't want to be rude, okay? The, the, the world is heavily revolved around the United States of America. That is not me being conceited. That is not me being rude. If you go anywhere in the world, the United States dollar is king. Everybody will accept it. And, and trade, international trade, is denominated in U.S. dollars. I completely get the idea that, you know, countries still use cash and, and all of that. I get that. But if you look at international trade, man, just think about BRICS nations. They're all upset because they no longer want to denominate their trade in U.S. dollars. And I completely get it. They shouldn't be denominating their trade in U.S. dollars with their, their volatility of their currencies and the fluctuation there. They should be denominating in their own currencies. Do it. It's probably going to be better off for you. But international trade is denominated in United States dollars, man. It is very, very difficult to argue that, that globalization does not revolve around the U.S. dollar. Worst way to pay with a crypto card, bank is the right idea. It, listen, I'm not telling you that it's the best way. I'm just drawing the similarities and differences there between paying with a crypto card and paying with your, your debit card. I'll trust the blockchain before I trust the bank, man. Sir, I'm just joining. What coin can I buy, please? Hassan, anything that you are comfortable with. <clears throat> All right, any coin that you are comfortable with would be a good buy. Crypto is still in the very early stages. Jimmy the one, the extreme early stages. I would I would argue this, okay? Everybody that says, well, crypto was early back in 2010 when you could get a Bitcoin for a dollar. Crypto was fake in 2010 when you could get Bitcoin for a dollar. There was literally nothing, nobody backing it, man. It was a It was a video game at that point. If you ripped crypto out of the world right now, there would be trillions of dollars in wealth that just disappeared. It would be almost, okay, 
if you shut down crypto, it would be almost no different than shutting down gold. Think about that. If you just said gold was worthless, all of those guys that are stacking gold bars in the safe in their basement would be just as drawn out as everybody that's stacking crypto on a blockchain. A $3 trillion valuation versus I think what gold is maybe right now at an $8 trillion valuation is not that much different. And I, I'm, I might be making that $8, $8 trillion valuation up. I think all the mined and unmined gold in the entire world equaled like a $10 trillion valuation not too long ago. So I don't know the total value of all the gold. You guys can school me on that if you want. But there will be no difference in terms of financial impact on ripping all the crypto out or ripping all of the gold out in the entire world. It is intertwined, and there's nothing they can do about it at this point. <laughs> Burning helps and irreversible gains. Kip, wake up. You are absolutely right, man. If you burn a token, you essentially set a new absolute minimum price that that token can reach. Uh, any updates from Lucy on the burns? I have not seen any updates whatsoever from Lucy. Um... Kenneth, man, I've seen zero updates from Lucy in terms of burns, dude. What was Shiva Inu having a dark side and Shiva Inu? Have you heard any good things about it? <coughs> Joe, bro, um, nothing outside of this live stream. But in terms of Shiva Inu, I've seen a lot of people coming into this live stream asking about it. So that it does, that does mean to me that it's growing in popularity. Uh, like outside of the live though, it's not something that I look into. So I really wouldn't know how good or how bad Shiba Inu is. Uh, let's see. Can you kindly tell me whether Shiba Inu coin will pump or not? Rishav, I wish I knew if Shiba Inu coin was going to pump or not. At the moment, Shiba Inu coin is down 3.5% on the day today. Bitcoin is down 3% on the day today as well. I do not know what the next candle is going to be. Um, based on this current chart, I would imagine the next candle might be a green one if it simply maintains this little bit of a support line right here. So uh, the next candle might be a good one, but dude, it's just a guess. It, it is literally just a guess. I don't know which direction any of these cryptocurrencies are going to go. I can just simply tell you which direction they're likely to go based off some technical analysis, man. Impossible to shut crypto down. Yeah, crit, uh, Kip, man. The only way that they could shut crypto down is if they destroyed the internet. At this point, they'd have to destroy Starlink. Um, they'd have to destroy all of the solar energy in the world. They'd have to cut all of the electricity from the globe. And uh, then they could shut crypto down if, if they destroyed all of the internet and all of the electricity. Or theoretically, all of the electricity or all of the internet. You need both of those to uh, to keep cryptocurrency going. Thoughts on Notcoin? I'm bored. Let's look up Notcoin. Thanks, Claire, bro, for explaining about how real crypto market is. She did get it, bro. She uses her you link to burn ship. I uh, see with over 500. Boom, baby. I love it. Crypto Coin Ralva Desreyes, man. Thank you guys very much for using that Amazon link to burn Shiba Inu coin. If you guys are brand new in here and did not know, I've got two affiliate links in all of the descriptions of all of my videos. And if you simply open Amazon through that link and buy anything that you would normally buy, it's about one to one and a half percent average commission. Some things are higher, some things are zero, but uh, it burns Shiba Inu coin. And we were just able to burn $713 worth of SHIB a couple of days ago because you guys are using that link there. Buy the dips and stack the chips. Absolutely, Kips. Uh, let's see. I'm from Morocco, and I want to know how I can get some if it's illegal in Morocco. The best one, man. So I cannot tell you how to do anything illegal, okay? Uh, but the internet is full of advice on how to set up VPNs and all of that stuff. Um, I would not recommend doing that because if they find out that you're doing it, they can just easily confiscate your or blacklist your wallet, which they may or may not do depending on the size of the wallet you have and so on. Um, I would never recommend doing anything illegal. <coughs> so maybe go to another country, right? either virtually or or physically where it is not illegal and then you're not breaking the law there if you're trying to trade anything you need to learn about the asset learn all about the asset and learn how to analyze chart patterns but if you're investing put your money into every single one and look away christian i agree to a certain extent right 
it is impossible in my opinion to buy every single asset so even if you're looking at buying a dollar in literally everything um there's a lot of different coins you're gonna need a lot of dollars at that point to do it but i see your approach there diversification is very important when it comes to investing and and not getting emotional based on the day-to-day -day price action is also very important in investing so yes putting it in everything or diversifying and looking away not getting emotional based on day-to-day -day trading activity um excellent advice when it comes to investing man and you're correct if you are going to trade you need to do so based on analytics you need to do so based on logic doesn't always work out correctly because people aren't always logical but analyze the charts make an informed decision if it if it works excellent try it again next time if it doesn't work either try it again next time or figure out why it's not working and then tweak the plan uh let's see check out yfda you'll see why i bought it dark bro what are we down man what are we down to like a, a fifty thousand dollar market cap or something right now <clears throat> let's see where yfdai is at the moment Root butter, it's $30 price point, a $121,000 market cap. Holy smokes, dude. Yeah, YFDAI coming down heavy right now. Dark Bro, is this the all time low? Oh, no, $26. Touch $26. $25. $23. Oh, $20. Okay. Seems as though 20 bucks is the all-time low, man. I hope you 10x. Even if you just get back to this level right here, Dark, I hope you 10x from these current levels, man. Yeah, Dark Bro definitely eating that dip buying opportunity on YFDAI right there. Yeah, risk management also very important, Brandon. Very important. My strategy is lower average through dips, gradual reinvest. Kip, man, very nice strategy. Uh, that is similar to a dollar cost averaging strategy, right? If you're here for the long term and you plan on buying and buying and buying, the idea is that if the asset is still here, if the asset sticks around, as everything grows throughout time, that asset should also grow grow throughout time. I was going to buy it in 2017, but they made it illegal. I think of opening a bank account in Spain because I have a three-year visa, but it's too expensive. Is it worth it? <laughs> Hey, the best one, man. I have no idea uh, w what is involved with opening a bank account in Spain. I have no idea uh, what, what's involved with, um, y you know, international visas or anything like that. So I really do not know. Um, I don't know if your banks are blocking it. If your government is literally blocking you from hitting a decentralized exchange or or what the idea is right uh, that part i have i don't know moroccan law so i have no idea why it would be illegal for you um you should be able to access a decentralized blockchain whether through an app or website or what and if you can't i, I would imagine dude your government is really cracking down on on crypto for some reason Resistor AI, T O R. Don't miss it. Let's not miss it, man. T O R. Is that the symbol? Resistor AI right here. What is this on here? Ethereum? This is on the Ethereum blockchain? All right. It's out on Uniswap right now. This bad boy is $956,000 in market cap. 10x okay just a tiny little 11 million dollar market cap right here 956,000 liquidity pool sorry i might have said market cap 11 million in market cap Choo. dude this is a very solid graph bender very solid graph now clearly i do not think that this is going to just go up in a straight line forever like this but man, it had one day of profit taking that brought it back down, and it is nearly up 6x from that level that it dropped to right there. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven solid days, except for this little day right here of some profit taken as well. About seven solid days of gains. Um, if it does pull back, okay, I, I would say that this is your your entry or this is your first level of support that you're going to be testing. But yeah, resist your AI, man. I don't know what they're doing, but but they're looking pretty good here. Tiny little 2,000 holders on resist your AI. Let's see if you getting major whales out there or what. These guys seem to be just on Uniswap. And you know what? Not a huge breakdown. A lot of people own around 1%, half a percent, and so on. But yeah, dude. That seems to be a seems to be a very, very nice gainer. Especially over the last week. Can you check it, buddy? We says a runner, a mata dot, low cap, crypto archie found it yesterday. Yeah, Mata Dodd. Cross X Stage 8. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel, guys. If you want your name on the top of the screen, do not forget to click that subscribe button, which is on the top right hand side of the screen. I know a lot of you guys flowing in from the YouTube shorts and so on. Please make sure to click that subscribe button. Uh, Abilash, you. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel as well, man. Go on a little subscriber one right now. Let's see how many people can click that subscribe button in a row. Uh, Mata Dodd. Is it Matador? <laughs> no, probably not. This came out two years ago. Which one are we looking at here? Mission Possible. Oh, sorry. Called Second, not Runner. All right. Andre, thank you very much for clicking the subscribe button. Richard, thank you very much for clicking the subscribe button as well. All of you guys, make sure to click that subscribe button if you're brand new in here. I want to hear that noise. I want to hear your I want to see your uh, name on the top of the screen right there. All right. Second, this came out 9 days ago. It's a 4% at the moment right here. This is on the Avalanche network, right? So we got <clears throat> it seems to be on the Avalanche network. And, uh, yeah, dude, had a very, very nice run there. Coming back down in price today, I would just be slightly more cautious. Now, it does have support at the exact line that it's at. It's where it came up here. Couldn't break, couldn't break, couldn't break, couldn't break, couldn't break. Finally broke it yesterday. And coming back down to test that line of support right now. So if you guys are a little bit more aggressive and you want to get in, okay, you're at support. Maybe wait till it bounces off of it. But if it does fall down through that level... This is your next body level of support. This is your next wick level of support right here. So 005, 006 levels is what you'd be looking at if it does break down through this line as a possible test. But yeah, man, second not looking too bad over the last week. Some huge gains since it was launched on this day right here and uh, just broke support yesterday. So keep your eyes on that if you guys want to want to see something that might be running here pretty soon. Arkham Coin, good entry cost. Kip, let's look at Arkham right now. <clears throat> All right, seven hundred thousand dollars in liquidity pool, two hundred eighty-two million dollar market cap at the moment. This is a tough one for me. This actually is a very, very nice graph since the beginning of, of 2024 here. Beautiful run, but good entry. Maybe. If you're more aggressive, it tested the exact point that it's at right now. I hate when it reloads like that. This graph is very difficult to work with sometimes. Um, tested that line back here on February 22nd. Tested it 25th, tested it 28th, and finally broke through it on the 28th. It's coming back down to test that line right now. Tested it as support on April 10th, testing it as support today on April 12th. If it breaks down, because this was such a quick run right here, I really don't know. It, you have to be pretty aggressive if you're going to be getting in right now. I really don't know if you're going to see it decline all the way back down to 60 cents. Okay. It was very comfortable in that 60 cent area for a very long time here and actually used it as resistance. So I would just be, I would be a little bit more cautious or if you're aggressive, it, it could be a decent entry off of this support. Wait to see if it breaks it or, or wait to see if it bounces off of it. And I think you'll be able to answer your question a little bit better there. 
Arrow. Do your best. We can look up Arrow in the afternoon with Dog with Hat. We will look it up in the afternoon. Jesus loves you. Don't forget it. RBX, you're absolutely right. I'll never forget it, man. Thank you. I will keep watching Kit, man. Thank you very much. Listen, guys, it is 1 o'clock. I usually live stream for an hour at a time, noon to 1, and then again from 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. If you guys have not clicked the subscribe button yet, please click the subscribe button. Get your name at the top of the screen so that you can come back in the afternoon live stream. I appreciate every single one of you guys happy helix tv thank you very much for clicking that subscribe button man appreciate every single one of you guys for keeping the chat going keeping the chat awesome we will look at all of these cryptos we also look at stocks you can see that we got weeble down there on uh in the middle half of the screen we can look at stocks as well if you guys want to look at stocks Bring your projects to the afternoon live stream. You know, just have some fun this Friday afternoon. And uh, I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Right now, we're going to do some shout-outs on the way out, man. Mission Possible. Thank you very much for being in here. Ralph Salerno, have a great one. Do your best. Cross stage. Julio, man, see you later this afternoon, Julio. RBX, Kip, wake up. See you later. Later, guys. Good news. Good news. See you later. Good news. We got uh, Cross X. See you later. Gary, have a great one. Alex, man, we'll look up Nye and Meme Coin or whatever else you want this afternoon. You. We'll see you later, you who. Uh, Bender, you who. DD214, Cross X, Kip. We got Chad, man. See you later, uh, Chad. SD, have a great afternoon. Cross stages, Kip. Old Rounder, DD214. I don't know if we still got Crypto Rocketeer. Dark Bro, J Bones, baby. JB, anybody else in here right now? Jimmy the One, man. See you later. All of you guys, you know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.